Hi everybody, I'm John. I'm Faith. And we are Fanboy. And Book Babe. And we're here today with the lovely and fabulous Lisa, Lisa McMahon. McMahon, hi. Lisa is a New York Times bestselling author of Wake, Ooh. Unwanted's, which is middle grade and fantastic. <laughs> Dead to You, which is one of my favorites of Lisa's, it, even though I sort of wish the ending was different. <laughs> and Cryer's Cross. Um, and she's got a new book out recently called oh, Crash. Crash. And we're here to talk today with Lisa about Crash. And Lisa's awesome, by the way. <laughs> Just and this is the Vision series, right? This is the Vision series. So tell us one. a little bit about the book and why it's called the Vision series. Well, um... You know, the vision series, it's about visions, basically. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. But um, <laughs> uh, it's about a girl named Jules who lives with her family above their pizza restaurant outside of Chicago. And uh, she has to drive her meatball truck to school every day um, for advertising purposes. Her parents make her. So um, she's, you know, kind of a little bit shunned uh, at times. Um she works a lot for the family, and uh, anyway, one day she starts seeing a vision of a truck hitting a building and ex an explosion, and then she sees nine body bags in the snow. So um, she realizes she's the only one who's seeing this vision, and after a while it starts getting worse and worse, and she sees it in a variety of places, like... Um, uh, at the movie theater, she'll see it when the rest of the people are seeing the turn off your cell phones screen. She sees this five second vision of the truck hitting the building and the explosion. Um, she sees it uh, on TV, she sees it in her computer screen, and as, as uh, it, it starts to increase, and she starts to feel like she has to do something about it. Um, then she sees a little more of the vision where there is um, a face on one of the bodies in the body bags and it's the face of the boy that she's been in love with for years um, whose family is a rival has a rival restaurant to their restaurant so um, so that's basically how the the book begins and the whole series is based on this vision thing um, and uh, are the later books about her, or are they different characters that we meet in book one? Um, without giving too much away on that, um, she is in all of the books. She's the main character, but um, there are other visions. There's a different vision in each book, okay. and there are more and more people uh, involved. So That's fantastic. So you were going to ask her if it was a series or if it was a... Like companion if you, um, if you, books. Well, companion books. Like, would you have to read the first book before you read the second book and stuff like that? Yeah. Uh, yes, you would have okay. to read the... I think... I always like it that way. Because it's a straight-up series. Yeah. yeah. As opposed to... It is. It's a straight-up series. Okay. They're not just companion it's books. It's not like um, Nancy Drew, where you can right. pick up one and just read without... It, it, the, the, the personal, contemporary part of the story... Um, is sort of a continuing saga. So you would miss, you could probably figure it out if you picked up the second book. But I think you get a lot of information lot in the more first book that you're going to need yeah. for the rest of the series. Right. So, yeah, four books in all. So, one of the things that both John and I loved about this book was the fact that Jules can interact with her visions. I love that. Oh, I mean, good. I've, you know, I read paranormal, you know, sort of supernatural books all the time. I don't think I've ever read a book where there's like, People can interact with their vision. It's usually just like, this is what I see. Yeah. But like on the TV, I love that on the TV, she can fast forward and rewind and like zoom in and zoom out. Like, yeah. I think that's fantastic. Like, so thank you. What, where did that, like, what made you think that that's what needed to happen? And is she using like a DVR to do that or is it? Yeah, basically okay. that was the idea. That it's, a she's, recorded it's a recorded show, show, show. because okay. she has a DVR. And if I you don't see. have a DVR, I don't think you'd be able to do it. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't know where that, I don't, I think I needed something as I was writing. I wanted her to be able to pick up stuff and I was trying to figure out how 
can we do this? I mean, I, I thought of the billboard idea mm-hmm. where just a, there's just one screenshot right. of the vision, you know, so that's frozen. Um, but she's got to be able to pick up really subtle clues in this few seconds in order to figure out the mystery right. and how to, how to solve what's yeah. happening and when it's happening and where and um, all that, all those details. Right. So that just sort of na- came naturally, I guess. I, I don't love that. Know that. Mm-hmm. I just love everything yeah. about it. It's the, because her vision is like a movie yeah. where you yeah. watch the whole thing or it's just like a thing, one scene on a billboard. Yeah. Like, I just think that's Well, and being able to like zoom into it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was really fantastic. Yeah. 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 I love was, that. Thank you. I love thank that. You. Um, so John and I also both love Trey. Yeah. Oh, like he is awesome. such a like he's funny <laughs> and just really great character. Where is where did Trey come from? Is he based on anybody? You know, not. Did he just sort of show up. <laughs> he sort of showed up, but he's like the brother everybody wishes they right, had. Right. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Like, and he's so, fantastic. He's like this image of this. <laughs> Uh, you know, the older right. brother, right. I mean, I have two older brothers, and they're really great, and a lot of, you know, their dialogue together, and their conversations right. together are funny, funny, and stuff that would happen, right. like, between my two kids, or between me and my brothers, um, you know, we just would joke around a lot, and, you know, the inappropriate jokes that happen in families all the time, oh, yeah. I wanted to bring those out in this series, right. I just wanted to, and, and after writing, like, the Wake Trilogy, where Janie's doesn't have any siblings, and then Criers Cross, where Kendall right. doesn't have any, and Dead's Hue is its own sibling problems. I wanted to write a, a, a series where the siblings were actually close and friends. I love and that. I have had such a great time. I've already finished book three. Um, but uh, so that, that has continued and has been one of my favorite parts of the series so far, is just that the sibling relationships. That's fantastic. Did yeah. you watch the Perks of Being a Wallflower movie? No, I haven't seen that okay. yet. No, I read the, the book. I love the, the book. guy that plays the gay stepbrother in there. I the whole time I was reading Trey's part in the book, I was like picturing. Oh, him cool! From the movie, yeah, it just kind of reminded me oh, of him. Oh, cool! Awesome. Yeah, so, I'll have to. No, I really have to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, okay, so I have a question for you about oh my dog. That phrase that she says. Yes. So where, wh- where did that come from? <laughs> you know, okay, it came from a couple of places. Okay. First, thinking about Jules and her family, and her parents are ca- are Catholic, right. and I think you know, she probably feels more comfortable not saying "Oh my God," but she does say it occasionally in the book if something's very serious, if it's just something that's like an OMG moment, it's right. sort of instead of the OMG thing, which I think can get tedious. Okay. Um, and it's just part of her personality, I guess, you know? Okay. Um, yeah. So she but, repeats it throughout the other books? Uh, no, actually, not, as much. not as much. <laughs> and, I mean, actually, there's something different in each of the books so oh, far. Yay. A new... Thing, a new Jules-ism or That's whatever. That's fantastic. So, um, a Jules-ism. I yes, love a that. Jules-ism. That's yes. really awesome. Yes. Uh, so you'll see what comes in the next books as well. So That sounds fantastic. I, I still have to think of one for the fourth book. <laughs> I don't have that yet. but It'll come to it'll you. Come. The Jules-ism will come to <laughs> yes, you. Yes, yes. So, um, so I, I like that there's this whole Romeo and Juliet-esque thing mm-hmm. going on. Um, because of the two feuding families. So there's a sort of fairly well-known um, couple of uh, restaurant pizza restaurants in Chicago mm-hmm. that have been feuding for years. Um, and so when I was reading the book, I thought that maybe you had based them off of that. Was, is that what? what? Um, so where did the feuding families thing come from? Specifically, that they're Italian restaurants right. and they are rivals. It's not from. Um, I think you're referencing the um, 
Illuminati's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Pizzeria Uno. They're right. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, it's not from that, actually. Oh, and, okay. and in, in fact, you mentioned this to me once. I was really hoping and it would be. <laughs> I know. Because I would be kind of fun. And I watch a lot of reality TV and a lot of cooking shows, and I never saw that Food Wars. Oh, I think Food it was Wars. On. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never yeah. saw that episode. I, I want to go back and find oh, you it have now to see because it. you it's, mentioned it's it. It's so interesting. Um, but no, I, I had no idea that. That that they were rivals right. even because Lou Malnati's made an appearance in the Wake trilogy. Right. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Because uh, that's so where... I thought maybe there's like a. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was purely coincidental. They tie into each other. Yeah, right. Exactly. Eventually, she's gonna make like a crossover. Yes. Yeah. And then and Jules visions. and Janie become fast yeah, friends. Yeah. And then they share. Janie helps Jules. You know, visions yeah. and figure dreams. out the mission thing. As awful. she's being sucked into Jules' dreams. <laughs> right. Exactly. Dreams. Jules dreaming about her vision. I can see your vision because I watched you dream it. <laughs> yes, and that's going to be the thing that solves everything. Perfect. For both, both I think issues. This, is, this is a fantastic idea. <laughs> I love this. I totally now have like six more books Here to read. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Yay, Thank you. that's Thank fantastic. <laughs> um, oh, God. Okay, so speaking of Wake, yes. uh, in the Wake series... Uh, Meatballs yes. are not like a prominent thing, but in one of the books, it's a thing. I'm not gonna spoil anything mm -hmm. by saying, but I never ever want to eat meatballs at a party again. I'm mm -hmm. just saying. Mm -hmm. Anyway, and then this book. And you notice I always make meatballs. I for know, parties. right? Oh, you yeah. do. Uh -huh. You do for parties. <laughs> so, what is the whole meatball? I feel like there's a weird psychology thing, mm -hmm. like. I feel like I Freudian, should lie down. Well, this is, thing. This is like, a book about psychology. Like, there's depression right. yeah. and stuff like that this in is there. true. So, yeah. I don't know, yeah. you know? Um, and the meatballs on the I truck. I have a strange fascination <laughs> with meatballs. Yeah, there's, I mean, okay. there's there's the two giant meatballs on the, on the food truck. Uh, honestly, I never thought of the connection between what you're speaking about in the Wake Trilogy and Fade specifically. <laughs> And this until, you know, you, I think it's you guys who have the so meatball we're obsession. obsession. The meatball. Yeah, because, okay. right. you know. Yeah. Your books have just brought yeah. this but seriously, out in us. There's something very funny about Well, meatballs. they are. It's yeah. true. They I are mean, kind of there's funny. so many jokes yeah. oh, so to be made. Many. And you and put some in the I did. In trash. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, yes. And it would have been really easy just to put a pizza slice on top of the truck. It right. would have like been, that would not have been the imagery at all. It wouldn't have given you all the opportunity for the jokes. Exactly. Which you take, I think, just the right amount of times. You don't go overboard with the meatball jokes. And and those slow down, too. Right. Like the ball jokes. So, oh, I have to ask her about okay. the list. The, okay. The top five. The top yeah, five We weren't lists. going to, but I have to ask her. About okay. Yeah. Is this a mean question? No, it's not a mean <laughs> question. I loved them at yes. first. Okay. Towards the end, they seemed like they had gotten a little bit overdone, maybe. Mm -hmm. But how did you come up with the idea of doing those? Um, I, that's just sort of came out naturally when I was writing the first second chapter or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, because that's, that's when it first shows up. Um, you know, one of the things when I'm writing a story, I'm always thinking, especially at the beginning, what's going to set this character apart from every other character out there? What's going to make this person, this story, this, you know, narrator different and stand out? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, in, in Wake the the style sort of of the writing is very different and it's a lot, some people don't like it but it's definitely right. memorable right um, and a lot of people do like it which is great but short sentences fragments it's very sort of staccato yeah the writing. and sort of almost dreamlike yeah um, in this uh, this is um, you know Jules is a first person narrator yeah. unlike in the Wake trilogy which is third yeah, okay um, and I just, you know, I really, I knew she needed to be sort of quirky in order to pull off what she pulls off in the book. She right. needs to be independent. She needs to be, you know, her own person and not feel like she's got to conform in her ways or whatever. So she just, you know, this is her way of saying, you know, I'm not this, per I'm not perfect. I'm kind of weird and I'm okay with that and, you know... This okay, is my quirky thing. This is my quirky okay, thing. I make people thinking I might be a lunatic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, which I really love about her. Okay. 
Yeah. So it wasn't was just that you were watching too much like David Letterman while you were No, no, no. In fact, I used to actually write my own top ten list many years ago with some okay. friends um, online. Uh, but that uh, no longer happens. Okay. I haven't watched David Letterman in a long time. I'm sorry, Dave. I will come back to you. <laughs> okay. So at the risk of making this a eight hour interview, the interview that never ended. <laughs> right. Um what uh let's talk about upcoming books you have 1800 books coming out this year yeah What's going on? it's a weird year um and i mean I've, I've been the last two years i've had two books out a year okay. um with my teen book whatever that happens to be and my unwanted's book which right. is because that's be more middle grade that's middle yeah. grade so i do one in yeah. the spring one in the fall everything was going along beautifully and then scholastic approached me david levithan uh, gave me a call and said, we'd like to have you write one of our books in the mm -hmm. new Infinity Ring series, which is kind of like the 39 Clues, right. uh, only better. Uh, no, just kidding, that's a joke. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so this was You like, know somebody's going to take that wrong. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> but like, Lisa McMahon bashes Ripley Orphan. Ah, <laughs> no. Ooh, we, we just started a feud. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, yeah. Watch it. Watch your back, Rick. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I, I uh, got to talking to them and found out James Dashner was going to be writing the first and the, and the last one, and then Carrie Ryan was involved, and, and Matt Delapena, and Matt Kirby, and... Jennifer Nielsen, and we just, that just sounded like a great, great time to right. me. Um, we all got together a little over a year ago and brainstormed the series uh, in New York, and um, the first book came out in September, James's book, Carrie's book came out in November, and then my book comes out February 5, and it's this one, Yay. and it's called The Trap Door. It's a, it's a time travel series. I like that you um, had to read the cover to see what it was I know. I, <laughs> I knew what it was called. I knew the oh. title. I know the title. Of she like, just all she just loves the cover so much oh, that she okay. just wanted yeah. an excuse to look at the cover. Yeah, that's it. That's it. It's, it's called the uh, trap door. <laughs> so um, anyway, that comes out soon. It's fun. It's interactive. It's time travel. It's two. It's these two kids uh, who have to solve. The breaks in history in order to right. get things back on track Whoa, again. Fun. So, um, and then they have a friend who, well, it's not really a friend who gets sort of stuck, who's a little older, and and he gets stuck with them, uh, taking them around. So, gotcha. um, lots of fun. And I'll be touring a lot with that book too. Sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you have one coming out in September. September. That one's the September. sequel yes. to or the third. In the Unwanted's trilogy. Yes. Which is also fantastic. Oh, thank you. I, I love going back and forth between the teen stuff and the Unwanted's. It's just, they're so different from each other. Yeah. And, you know, this yeah. is fantasy, magic, and third person with this narrator who's, you know... <laughs> really long sentences. It's a much longer <laughs> book than I'm used to writing. So it's really fun to go back and forth. Um... So that, yeah, that one's September 3, and, and then, then October October 4, the second book in the Visions series, this is Bang, and that's gonna, that's one of the reasons why I have four books coming out this year, is, is because instead of waiting, or having all the readers have to wait a whole year, right. yeah. we're doing the Visions series once every nine to ten months, so well, that's like just that faster, idea. you know, yeah. trying to keep going... I wish that would happen more often. I know. Yeah. It just depends on how fast you can write. It and is, I had a, it, quite a head very start. True. It's very true. It's true. Mm -hmm. But as a reader and lover of your books, thank you. You're welcome. For not making me wait a year. <laughs> yeah. You're very welcome. So, yes. For all of those. Book two, that one comes out October 8. And then the third book will be out in the following summer. Okay. 14 and then spring of 15. Nice. And then we'll wrap it up. Mm -hmm. so that sounds pretty fantastic. Much in two years. So four so books. So you had yeah. Crash Cut came out in January, mm -hmm. and then Infinity Ring comes out in February, and then <clears throat> Unwanted comes out in September, and then Bang, Bang. comes out in October. Yeah. What are you gonna be on all this year? No. So you're just gonna be on the road like I, 365, like 
every I day. Think so yeah, every That's day. Crazy. Yeah, it's it's gonna be a very busy year, but it is very it's fun. I mean, I'm, I'll be touring a lot. I get to go places. I I'm going back to Milwaukee. I'm gonna visit oh, San, uh, St. Louis, and I'm gonna go to Alaska. Oh, wow. Alaska. So I don't know my details on Alaska yet. That sounds but, awesome. And I get to tour with Jen Nielsen, who wrote The False Prince, and who is love one of the... Jennifer Ring. Nielsen. Awesome. I love yeah. her books. They're yeah, so me fun. too. So we are, yeah, yeah. we're going to be together for uh, about a month uh, as we travel so in we March. I still like so. each other at the end of Yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> I think I will. with some pretty cool people. I have. You yeah. know, I, my first tour partner was Cassandra Clare yeah. and wow. man I mean that was awesome what an experience yeah. um and that was when you were just still like a, a that baby. was a baby when Wade had just come out yeah, yeah. Baby yeah. Author. Wow. just a yeah she was already yeah. all yeah yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. It, well let's see when Wake was out we she and I did a couple stints in California I think and then Fade or wait, maybe with Wake, she came to Phoenix, and we yeah, did a couple things. Yeah, she came to things. Phoenix, and you guys and then did with, a couple things. And with Faye, then her city of glass came out, when Faye came out. And that's when we went to California, yeah. and... Uh, yeah, but, yeah. Margaret, Margaret Peterson Haddix, who's fun Love and wonderful. Her. Yeah, she's yeah. neat. We, we've toured twice now for full mm. weeks. Becca you know, I don't know. Becca, yeah. Heather Brewer. Yeah, I've done um, a couple events with Heather and get to see her again in Tucson for the Festival of Books. Right. Awesome. So, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So, Lisa, thank you so much for coming and talking to us today on our debut, yeah, whatever. You. I'm very, very show. pleased that fun. I can be part of your, your brand new show and awesome. that I'm actually home to do it. So. Yay. Yay! Which is exciting. Right. For, your, for yes. your few days that you're home. Yes, yes. <laughs> right. This is right. it. This is it. We feel privileged well, that so do I. you uh, are using one of your few days home this year, too. Well. Thank Spend you. time with us. I think this is a really cool <laughs> idea. Seriously, cool. guys, what you're doing here Thank with you. this kind of a situation. Sit down oh, so together, and um, hopefully you'll have lots of other Oh, we plan on it. Yeah. Very good. We plan on it. This is going to be awesome. And it won't always be with an author. Sometimes mm -hmm. it'll just be like a stalking or guest, mm -hmm. guest host. Mm, cool. We, yeah. A lot of people, I think, would be... A lot of our friends would be wanting to do awesome. hosting too. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, I think that'd be yeah. really cool. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, great questions. Cool. Yes.